Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a quick haul. It is gonna seem dumb and repetitive because <laughs> it's fountain pens. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just gonna go with it. I do have another one that I'm gonna film either later today or tomorrow and it's something that's not fountain pen related. It's actually not even close to stationary related, but yeah, um, my nails look craptastic, but there's a reason for that. The last time I polished my nails uh, was probably, oh, is that the delivery truck? Because <laughs> if it is, then that's my next video. <laughs> if you hear a knock, that's what it is. But anyways, I polished my nails on August 29th. Yes. And today's September 12th, and my nails are still looking, looking not great, but not horrible. They've barely even chipped, and that's because I used static nails. Static nail, static nail snow polish. It's not gel polish either. Yeah, and it's expensive. I'm gonna <laughs> just tell you that right now. The price was ridiculous and at first I thought, hell no, but it's worth it. So uh, next time you see my nails, I'm gonna have them polished, I promise. Like it's not gonna be this gross and I'm not affiliated and there's no links, there's no codes to static nails, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. Anyways. Two deliveries, uh, Pen BBS. There's a story behind this one, and this is, is it Nemesine? Nemesine? I can't pronounce that, but I'll put a link to it. Hopefully, you might still be able to get some pens in there because I think they're um, either rebranding or they're being absorbed by another company or they're just closing down altogether. It's still very unclear. I know Goulet Pens did a video that addressed it. Um, nothing has been cleared up as of yet, as far as I know. So they're having this huge sale on pens and I was like, huh? yeah, I'm gonna get some. So let me open these off camera and then I'll come right back. So now it's a day later. <laughs> let me tell you what happened. I went to go transfer the files from my SD card to my laptop and I hated it. <laughs> the lighting was bad. It's still bad because I'm not sitting where I usually sit. And it was just blurry and the focus was a mess and oh, oh yeah, it was just bad. So bad. So, I'm gonna redo it all. Um, still have fountain pen ink on my fingers, which actually will probably come off today because I need to take this nail polish off. Um, so we're not gonna acknowledge the nails is what I'm saying. And also bonus, um, I've already inked them. <laughs> So, um, I might be able to do a writing sample, which is cool because I haven't done that on, on this channel yet, so excited. Anyway, so we're going to start with this. This was uh, my Pen Babyas order. Um, I, I can't really say much about it other than it's my favorite pen, model, nib, maker at the moment. Um, I have two already. This is uh, Sherry. And Sherry is a pretty girl. Like, there's a lot of... It's very, I, I suppose, Cherry Blossom-esque. Am um, I even in focus? Because that was one of my issues yesterday. So, it's very pretty. I have it inked with... Oh, what's it called? Noodlers. Hold on. Hold on. It's called Noodlers Black Swan and Australian Roses. And although it's supposed to be a nice shading ink, I don't get a lot of shading with this nib. But it's still really pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you'll know, like I said in my last video, I have issues with gloom in the nib. I need to get a loop or magnifying glass, however you want to call it. Because I think the tines are misaligned and that's why I'm getting less than spectacular results but oh how did I end up with ink there oh god yeah <laughs> story of my life <laughs> um I ended up ordering a pen bbs medium size nib which is also not focusing good lord um it's a medium sized nib. None of their pens really come with a medium size. So if you wanted a pen BBS medium, you have to order it like this, which I don't mind. 
So I'm excited. I might switch out the nibs and gloom and see how this one works because I find that although these might say fine, they write more like fine medium-ish. So um, these were a treat, unexpected treat. Um, see how heavy they sound? Jeez. These are Nemesine pens. Nemesine is going through a transition period, perhaps. Maybe they're closing down. Don't know. I don't think we've heard anything yet. But um, their pens are reduced by like 60%. So if anybody's looking for a cheap entry level fountain pen, go find them because let me tell you something, I was highly impressed by these. No kidding, and I'm sorry. There's noise outside, but you know how that goes. This is, um, what is this one called? This is the Nemesine Neutrino Graphite. Um, it is a 1.1 stub nib because I like my stub nibs. And like I said, I've already inked them, so you can, ow, okay, I just hurt my elbow, sorry. So you can see how um, it's not focusing at all. <laughs> like the div is already pretty like stained, not stained, but uh, it's the ink. It's definitely the ink. And this is uh, inked with Noodler's 54th Massachusetts, I think is what it's called. A friend of mine sent me a sample. So really, really sturdy pen. This is really nice. Very sleek, very like classy. Ugh. This one, however, this sucker. Oh man. When I opened this, I when I pulled it out, I was like impressed. This is the Nemesine Fission, and I got it in the 0.6 stub nib, which I have never tried before. And they have a 0.8 stub nib, and I'm thinking maybe I want to buy the 0.8 stub nib. And I have this yellow one that I'm like, <gasps> but I digress. This is heavy. This is a heavy pen, you guys. It's, I can't think of another pen that I have that is as heavy as this. Maybe, I lie, where is it? Um, this is just one I got from Etsy a couple of days ago, a few days ago, and this is, no? This is still heavier. Maybe like my Jin Howick 750? Let me see. Nope, this is still heavier. So, it's pretty heavy. Um, it's beautiful. It's the nickel one. It's absolutely beautiful. This is definitely a 0.6, not 0.6, size 6 nib, but the detail on it is so dang pretty. On the nib, it's just gorgeous. I love this. It, it posts securely if you screw it. Is it top heavy? Not really. It's very comfortable on the hand. I, I have no bad things to say about this pen, you guys. None. So, that's like super exciting. Um, let's see if I can get a sample going, writing sample going. No hard starts. Did you see that? Not a hard start at all. Point six stub nib, and this is Robert Oster. Hmm. Heart of Gold. This is actually a shimmer ink, and you can totally see the shimmer in the feed but it's not clogging it it's flowing nicely this is a solid pen you guys that's a solid pen um let's do this one i don't know can i zoom in without it freaking out on me oh let's try I don't know if you can hear it. It has, um, 
It sounds like it has feedback, but it really doesn't. Oh, this is a 1.1 stub. Is it 54th Massachusetts? Massachusetts, why am I having a hard time saying that? But do you see this? It doesn't skip at all. I wonder how much how much flex it has. I haven't flexed them yet. I kind of don't want to because I don't want to ruin the nibs because I'm afraid that I'm going to ruin the nibs and then I'm not going to have any more Nemesis nibs and that's going to be an issue. <laughs> this is... Uh, so smooth um this ink kind of smells <laughs> you guys didn't know this noodler's ink has a scent to it and it's not like yummy it's kind of inky does that make sense oh what was this noodler's black swan and australian roses yes Um, as you can see, there's also no skipping. Wow, this is hard to write and speak at the same time. Holy cow. That's some skill. Um, there's no skipping. It writes, it's like freaking butter. This nib is insane. Um, seriously, these pens are just the best. I don't think you can see the shimmer in heart of gold you're not gonna be able to see it but it's there it's a beautiful color this right here this combo oh yes I am loving it so there you go that's my little haul on those three pens get your hands on some of these I'm gonna put the website below trust me oh totally worth it um I have an ink coming later today. I have um, I have another haul that I'm gonna post after this, but like I said before, it's I don't know if I said it before, it's not stationary or fountain pen related, because yeah, this fountain pen thing is real, you guys. This obsession is real. Um, I don't know what kind of video I'm gonna do after that. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Oh, I might do. Um, I'm traveling soon, so I might do a setup of my travel journal. Maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no, I seriously have no idea. I'm like the worst YouTuber ever. I have no idea. But anyways, um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Put it all on there. I will at some point get to it. Not that there's a lot of stuff going on down there. But there you have it. So, I will see you guys later. Bye.